Shalom. I think all of us are very familiar with Jesus' parable of the Good Shepherd. It's a story that gives us a very spiritual lesson. Now, if we know geography, the geography of Israel, it just so happens that that parable is enriched and enhanced. Our understanding is enriched and enhanced. It has three phrases in it. Three phrases are a road going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. A second phrase is falling among robbers. There was a Jewish man who fell among robbers. And the third one is brought him to an inn. The Samaritan brought him to an inn. Now, Jesus is teaching them then. And the parables, like I said, are a story with a spiritual point. But what he was doing is he was using what they understood then, what they were familiar with then, not us. So come, let's go, and let's try to hear what they heard and try to see what they saw. And so that for us, our understanding will be enriched, our understanding will be enhanced, and our understanding will be deepened. So we're going to take off from St. Paul, Minnesota. And once again, we're going to turn to our Jewish roots in the ancient Middle East. We're going to go to, and we're going to go to and return to Israel. And we're headed to an ancient city, the ancient city of Jericho. Come in and we're looking now at Jericho today. The Old Testament city is in the upper left area. And we're looking at Tel Es Sultan, the Old Testament city of Jericho, where in 1406, under the leadership of Joshua, the walls came tumbling down. But then later on, in the Roman times, in Jesus' day, Herod had built winter palaces here south of Tel Es Sultan. And Jericho was a great retreat from the cold, wet Jerusalem in the rainy season. But Herod also built a fortress named Kipros after his mother. That fortress is in the lower left-hand corner of the area of Jericho. We know Herod did this to guard the trade route between Jericho and Jerusalem. And looking southwest, as we are right now from Herod's palace, the fortress is really obvious as that distance high point. The road itself is known in Jesus' day as Ma'ale Adumim, the Red Ascent. And it begins going up from Jericho, and it heads up towards the fortress Kipros. The road ascends above the deep canyon called Wadi Kelt, or in Hebrew as Nachal Prat. Herod's fortress, Kipros, is on the upper left as the road passes below it as it's headed to Jerusalem. And now we see that in the parable, archaeology so shows that there was a road from Jerusalem to Jericho, a very important trade route. It was really very familiar to all who heard Jesus' parable. This aerial view shows the entire route. It's roughly 15 miles. Some say the name Red Ascent probably comes from the red color of the limestone in the canyon, or there's another interesting possibility that historians suggest. It's the amount of bloodshed due to the travelers being robbed and murdered on the road. And now we remember in the parable, the Jewish man robbed and beaten in the parable, left for dead on the Red Ascent the ascent of blood. Now, many people make the mistake that the Jericho Road was these trails inside the wadi. You can see somebody walking on the trail a little bit further down. Now, as we turn back east, where the actual trail starts heading back to Jericho, you can see the trail winding its way back down the canyon. Now, later on, as you get closer to Jerusalem, the trails completely disappear. Now, archaeology and history already proved that the Jericho Road was not in the canyon, but above it, like this road that we see here in the Judean wilderness. Now, I've been told that this road actually is part of the Roman road, the Jericho Road, that has been reconstructed. 
and they have actually found remains of that Roman road. The Roman road that we know is now the name Ma'ale Adumim. This is the end of part one. There's just an awful lot of material, you guys, and I wanted to keep each session very close to five minutes, though this one was a little over. Please don't forget, check the comments section. That's before you actually hit the play button for Five Small Stones, lesson number 18, part one. There's a lot of links there and a lot of information that will only add to your Bible study with regards to this lesson. See you in part two.